everyone, Tiara here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today's video is a part of a collaboration with a bunch of other soap makers here on YouTube. I've participated in a few of these collaborations. They come out every season. Now we've rolled around the spring and the theme is called Flower Power. It is set up by Renee over at Soaps for Love. For my entry, I wanted to focus the theme of my soap around the lotus flower. There are a few requirements for this soap that have been set, one of them being to use the color, I got this green, <laughs> plus one or more of other colors like yellow, pink, red, and orange. You also have to use a natural ingredient. And the third thing is to either add an embed or piping or both. So I'm gonna leave a um, hashtag in the description box that will direct you to all the other soap makers that are participating in this soap making collaboration. So be sure to go check them all out. Can't wait to see what everyone is doing. But let's get started and let's make a lotus flower soap. started here, I'm going to mix together my oils with my lye solution. Get my gods on. <laughs> and I also have my Tessa silk in here, my sodium lactate, my coconut milk, and my kale and clay. And I'm just so excited about this soap. There's so many fun things that are going on with this. So many techniques. And of course, you guys know I go all out when given a theme. So let's whisk this all together and splitting it off into two different colors. So I hear a lot about Mad Micas. I see a lot of soap makers use them. I have never used them and the names of their Micas alone were intriguing. So I decided to put an order in and try out some Mad Micas. The blue is called Twilight and the green is called Enchanted Forest. And so I'm going to mix them together. Those are the two colors going in this, but I want it to look like a pond with the blue and like the green for the, uh, like, I don't know, algae or aquatic plants and stuff like that. So I'm also going to add for my natural ingredient, I have some lotus flower extract. And I'll just split that up between these two. Like I said, I go all out. You tell me it needs to be a flower, I pick a flower, and every part of that flower <laughs> theme that I can think of will go into this soap. So let me scrape out this big bucket here and get those colors mixed in. So got my colors all mixed in. I got it in a light trace. You can see I didn't get these colors very dark and that is what I wanted. I was tempted to put some titanium dioxide in there, but since it's the first time using these Mad Micas, I kind of just wanted to leave them alone and not muddle it too much. So I did keep them very light. I'm gonna get my fragrance poured in here and this is a sea salt and lotus blossom from Nature's Garden and it's fresh air, sea salt, ocean mist, aquatic florals, green notes, and beachy musk. And there is no vanillin in this. I'm hoping it doesn't accelerate because typically ocean watery type scents often rice or accelerate. And so I'm hoping that doesn't happen. But no vanillin, so it's not going to discolor. It is a very light um, fragrance, very light floral fragrance. And I'm just going to get that all mixed in and cross my fingers that it cooperates here. I'm going to start pouring it back into the big bucket. I'm thinking a in the pot swirl will do for this. start pouring this in I'm going to show you what else is going on the inside of this soap. I have 
cut out a whole bunch of different lotus shaped pieces of soap and this is going to be like a column mold that I will sit inside of the soap so that when you cut it that lotus shape will also be on the inside and I will leave a, a little snippet of how I did that as well. So I did not scrape all the blue out of the little bucket when I poured this up so that I can put the rest of it on top of this. And make a mess. Look at that. <laughs> I was doing so good. So the day before, I poured up a batch of pink soap, and I've unmolded it, and I'm taking this lotus-shaped cookie cutter that was 3D printed, and I'll leave the link for it below, or the Etsy store for it below. But I'm cutting out those shapes, and I am connecting them all together. I've done this a long, long time ago with clear melt and pour, and that doesn't work as nicely as this. So this is the first time I'm actually using cold process soap to do this method. But I'm going to continue cutting these out and adding them until that is long enough to form a column to put in the inside of my soap loaf. So on top of the soap, I have these little melt and pour frogs. I've got some soap dough lily pads that I made, or lotus leaves. <laughs> and then I have the lotus flowers. And so that leftover soap that I had from cutting out all of those shapes, you can use with like other soap, like soap dough or just shred it up, cut it up, and put it in another batch of soap so that none of it goes to waste. I will leave a video, a little snippet of how I made these as well. So I want to put a frog on the side, a lily pad in the middle, and a lotus on the other side, and then hope that they don't get cut. <laughs> I tried to make sure they were all the right size, but I'm going to do my best here. Okay, right, last one. So much work going into this, but I'm super excited about it. I'm even having thoughts about adding something else to it when I'm done. I'm just having way too much fun with this little soap. I love it so far, anyway, <laughs> until I cut it. Um, I am interested in seeing what everyone else does. I didn't do, I didn't get around to the Christmas collaboration, and in my head I wanted to do a Christmas tree soap with like the cookie cutter cutouts and you'd be surprised at how many people actually did that. So I'm kind of like, well, no one was missing out on anything because it's been done. So 
all the different flowers in the world, I wonder if there's anyone else who's going to do the same thing. When I thought about the flower that I wanted to do for this soap, I thought mums are my favorite and peonies are my favorite, and I've already done soaps like that, so I had to think outside of my normal knowledge of what my favorite flower is, and I thought, next house, what are some of the things that I want to have growing? And I actually have a list in my phone started of, you know, things that I've seen along the way that would be really pretty once we move to start growing. And aquatic flowers came to mind, um, like a water lily. And so then I started thinking water lily and went, well, what's the difference between a water lily and a lotus? And I had to educate myself because I don't know what the difference is. I just know they kind of look similar and they grow in a pond <laughs> and frogs like them. Um, so water lilies, they float on the surface of the water while well, their leaves and the flowers float on the surface of the water while the lotus actually emerges um, and rises above the water. So this is kind of a hybrid soap. I wasn't going to make these lotus flowers stick up or they probably would break and cause me a lot of pain and trouble, more so than they probably are going to anyway with cutting it. Um, they also pollinate differently, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, so I'm going to have to have water lotus and water lilies um, in my next house. So happy with how Beautiful this has turned out so far. I think I'm gonna get some blue melt and pour, melt and pour, melt and pour, um, and maybe a clear melt and pour and do a couple little drizzles on there to make it look like water or water droplets. All right, really excited about seeing what's on the inside of this one. I'm gonna do my best not to chop too many of these embeds up, but I know it's going to be difficult. I can always move sizing over, but let's see. <gasps> Perfect, I love it. The swirls look great. Look at that little lotus flower in there. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to. I think I want to turn it on its side because you can see some drag marks. They're not very noticeable, but it's enough to drive me crazy. So I'm going to turn this maybe from the melt and pour and hope that I can still line things up here. If not, it'll be a surprise. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is go to gardens when the weather is nicer i like to go visit gardens there's so many of them around maryland and we go to them often and every time we get to like the fountain area or the pond area i always enjoy looking at the lily pads and all the pretty flowers like the lotus and the lilies but i like to go searching for frogs so whether there's like frogs or tadpoles in there i'm all about spotting them or even watching the koi fish they're always cool so i'm hoping that one day look this little froggy got cut it's going to drive me crazy hoping one day we can have our own little fountain or pond and i can put some fish and frogs and i'm putting this back on its side because cutting those frogs up is going to be the death of me let's turn this around and start over all right I want to thank Renee for putting together this collaboration again. Be sure to check out that hashtag down below and see what else everyone did as far as the flower power theme. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in purchasing this soap, it will be available on March 27th. And yeah, if you enjoyed what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. New to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, questions or comments. 
leave them for me in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. I will smell you later.